The vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Call Lord and walk about, like Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Arachakwadash. The devil wants to the elder apostles of the great Muslim who were well. Peace, blessings, and salutations unto the old 411 tabernacle of David, scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Now we know great tribulation is ahead. And, uh, you know, the Lord described it as saying, this will be such a great time of trouble that such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. That the Lord's going to have to shorten the days for the elect's sake, or else there will be no flesh left. And that we see the devil, you know, with his relentless uh, momentum to, you know, further, you know, uh, siege, you know, total power and control over the world. And, uh, you know, we always quoted every lesson, you know, the devil's coming down with great wrath because he knew of that he had but a short time. And there's so many agendas that are set in place that they have to, you know, roll out. But there has to be operations carried out in order for it to be implemented. And you've been seeing lately, it's just been a, um, you know, a series of ongoing so-called mass shooting attacks. And uh, while that's going on, uh, you got you know, the Russia-Ukraine conflict. And also on the back end, you have China and allegedly, you know, there's plans for them to actually go in and invade Taiwan in which, uh, you know, Biden has, uh, you know, gave his position on if China was to actually invade Taiwan, that they would basically defend Taiwan. And, uh, you know, missiles being moved around a lot of uh, missile drills, a lot of uh, hypersonic missile uh, test launch, you know, all type of exercises happening. So major things are definitely uh, taking place. Every A lot of things are moving forward. And uh, what the American public don't know yet is that some secret documents was released revealing that they're going to have plans for an apocalyptic scenario. And this is in case of a so-called nuclear attack, which we all know, you know, nobody's surviving a nuclear attack. You know, once those arrows get to flying, that's it. All right, it tells you that in, uh, let's go to the apocrypha real quick. Because we know those arrows, once they begin, begin to get launched, that they will not miss. They will all hit the intended targets. And the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord is going to be in those missiles. This is our second measure 16. And uh, verse, uh, I'll start at verse 1. It says, Woe be unto thee, Babylon and Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. Gird up yourselves with, sack, with cloths of sack and hair. Bewail your children and be sorry, for your destruction is at hand. All right, and, and basically the destruction of Babylon the Great, America, is at hand. You, know, you mourn in the death of a uh, old boy from uh, the uh, Goodfellas. Well, he checked out in time because, uh, you know, your time is at hand. All right, the days of trouble, tribulation. All right, and uh, it's only going to turn up from here on out, man. We in the year of the turn up. The Lord turning things up. He's going to turn up the plagues, the pestilences, the judgment of the sword, a lot of death, great death, great mourning. So we still ain't seen nothing yet, but we're getting ready to enter into a time that has never uh, been before. So continuing on, it says, a sword is sent among you and who may turn it back? A fire is sent among you and who may quench it? Plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? It says, may any man drive away a hungry lion in the wood, or may one quench the fire and stubble 
when it have begun to burn, may one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer. The Almighty Lord sent the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? And we know that the missiles are going to be the final plague to hit America, and it's going to consume and turn America into a one big desolate wasteland. All right, which the the the, the lasting effects that it will have will be like unto Sodom and Gomorrah. After the Lord rained fire and brimstone upon it, it has never been inhabited by man ever since. And that was several millenniums ago, thousands of years ago. All right? So this is it, man. It says, A fire shall go forth from his wrath, and who is he that may quench it? He shall cast lightnings, and who shall not fear? He shall thunder, and who shall not be afraid? And this is talking about the return of the Lord. When he comes with the angels, all right, and, and people are going to tremble, people are going to be afraid. It even tells you that in uh, the same chapter, in Matthew the 24th chapter, that men's hearts were going to fail them because of their fear. It says, the Lord shall threaten and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence is going into what he's going to come to do. He's going to come and, and thresh. The threshing is going to happen. This is the day of doom that's being spoken of. The earth quaketh and the foundations thereof. The sea ariseth up with waves from the deep, and the waves of it are troubled, and the fishes thereof also before the Lord and before the glory of his power. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the end of the world. All right, and uh, when those missiles, which we know as a, it's a, um, the arrows is basically uh, similar to for missiles. All right. Because the prophets, they spoke in similar to when they described, uh, you know, futuristic uh, technology, you know, that they foresaw, you know, going back thousands of years ago. But they didn't have, you know, they didn't know what they were. So they, they, they called it by what they were familiar with in that time. So they likened those uh, missiles unto arrows and not every single time it says arrows talking about a missile in the scriptures but you got to have that discernment now we know when 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 prophet jeremiah referred to arrows concerning the destruction of babylon we know that that's talking about missiles because only missiles can destroy a whole um country all right so anyway You got, you know, Russia and this uh, TV host saying that they will not lose a nuclear war to the U.S., but that basically that they would get the victory over the West. And then she was even saying how, I believe her name was uh, Margarita, uh, what was her name, Margarita something, but um, she was saying how, you know, once America, is, once the West is taken care of, then they can be happy that they ain't got to study, you know, uh, the West anymore. They get, they get to be normal people because the world is sick and tired of the Babylonian wine. All right. But uh, Russia is uh, puffed up with pride because, you know, they believe that once they win the war, then that's pretty much it. They get to, you know, live regular lives and they get to be the dominant uh, nation in power. That's not going to happen. Neither is China. We know the Lord ultimately is going to get the victory. But right now. The fear is that, uh, you know, nuclear war is on the brink. And we know that before that can even take place, the uh, the karagma is going to have to be uh, mandated. And what you know, they're 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 telling you in the World Economic Forum, those uh, secret councils that they want to be able to, um, you know, merge you with this uh, technology. They want to upgrade you with 6G technology. All right. And uh, you're going to become basically a humanoid. And it's going to plug you right into the system with everything uh, uh, digital. That's why everything is going cashless. Everything is going online. And and there's no more, um, there will be no more anonymity. All right. So uh, right now, this is what's uh, not being, you know, talked about in the media so let's read this 
and you're going to see what this entails. All right, this is uh, good news for us because we know that in order for there to be um, good times, in order for there for, for the kingdom to come, the, tr the tribulation got to come first. We got to go through the straight gate. So, hey, we, hey, we, we earnestly desire the day of the, of the Lord, man. But this is uh, bad news for you, for you Americans, you Babylonians. So this is what it said. This is from um, MSN.com, and this is from the New York Times, and it says, "Newly disclosed documents have shed a crack of light on secret executive." branch plans for apocalyptic scenarios like the aftermath of a nuclear attack so they want to prepare like a drill all right of the aftermath of a nuclear attack and like i said there ain't gonna be no aftermath once america gets uh taken out all right it, it tells you that at the at the first uh verse in revelation the 18th chapter concerning babylon that it'll be not it'll be inhabited by nothing but you know deserted creatures All right, revelation 18 and verse uh, 1 it says and after these things i saw another angel come down from heaven having great power and the earth was lightened with his glory and he cried mightily with a strong voice saying babylon is the greatest fallen is fallen is become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit in a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. All right, and you can go into the prophecies in the Old Testament. You go to Prophet Isaiah. He speaks on it. This is Isaiah 34. Uh, let me see. Uh, should really, I should read this, you know, starting at the top. But I'm, I'm gonna just go straight to the point because this is going into the Lord's wrath and how He's gonna bring destruction upon these nations, and He's also gonna bring destruction mainly upon uh, Esau, who happens to be the, uh, in rule, because Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning that follows. So the end of Esau's reign is gonna begin. The, the the eon of Jacob ruling, so this has to happen, man. So this is Isaiah thirty four, and I'll start at verse two. It says, "For the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations, and His fury upon all their armies. He have utterly destroyed them, and have delivered them to the slaughter." And uh, you know that war in heaven. All right, Michael, the archangel, and and, and the angels up under him. You know they're gonna do them them uh, armies, all the militaries. Of these other nations that's going to be fighting in the uh middle east in a third world's war the lord's going to walk right through them the angel's going to walk right through them all right and it says and their slain also shall be cast out their stink shall come up out of their carcasses and the mountain shall be melted with their blood there'll be dead bodies all over and all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved and the heaven shall be rolled together as a scroll all right on this particular day you know, the heavens are going to melt with, with fervent heat. Even the elements is going to get burnt up. It's going to purify the the, the, uh, the atmosphere, the air that we breathe. It's going to, you know, uh, you know, cleanse, you know, it's basically because fire is, a, is a, uh, a powerful cleansing agent. So it's going to purify everything on earth. All right. It says, and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll and as described in the mushroom cloud that a nuclear uh, warhead leaves after it detonates in above ground. All right. It, it, when you look at it from an aerial view, it looks like a scroll as being, uh, you know, rolled together. It says, and all, all their hosts shall fall down as the leaf falleth from the vine and as a falling fig from the, the fig tree. So all the jets, the planes, the satellites, that's all going, that's that's all coming down. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia, which that's the Greek way of saying Edom. So it's going to come down upon Edom because, you know, this is their world. This is their kingdom. So their kingdom, their world is going to get destroyed 
all right, by the sword, the very same thing that he was blessed with. So his blessing is going to be his own curse as well. It's going to be the one that the thing that takes him out. All right, it says, and upon the people of my curse to judgment. So they're they're um, you know, they're doomed to the day of uh, destruction. He created uh, was that Proverbs uh, sixteen and four. So he saw he he's he's preserved to it. That's why he's known as the the vessel of wrath fit to destruction. All right, he said I've um, I created what the evil. I uh, created the wicked for the day of evil. So, hey, that's that's what that goes into. The Lord made all things for himself, yeah, even the, the wicked for the day of evil. So this is that day of evil that the Lord is going to bring upon these devils. All right? The people cursed to, to judgment. It says, the sword of the Lord is filled with blood. It is made fat with fatness and with the blood of lambs and goats with the fat of the kidneys of rams. For the Lord have a sacrifice in Basra. And a great slaughter in the land of Idumia. So it's going to be one big oblation, one big sacrifice on that day. And a unicorn shall come down with them, and the bullocks with the bulls, and their land shall be soaked with blood, and their dust made fat with fatness. For it is the day of the Lord's vengeance, and the year of, of recompenses for the controversy of Zion. All right? And this is also dealing with the gospel when you read Isaiah 61. Declaring the day of the Lord's uh, vengeance, and that's part of the gospel because the Lord's going to recompense these devils and these nations for what they've done against Zion. And we're going to be in a chariot, Lord willing, we of the elect, we're going to be rejoicing. It says, and we're going to be looking down upon uh, Babylon getting wiped out. It says, and the streams thereof shall be turned into pitch, and the dust thereof into brimstone, and the land thereof shall become burning pitch. All of Babylon, all of America, man. Not just one uh, state is going to get devastated and then they're going to, you know, you know, implement some uh, continue, uh, can, what's they, what they call it? Continuity of government, you know, where the, 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 uh, the president, you know, through executive orders can, you know, seize all this extra power. And what you're going to read about this uh, secret document that I'm, that I'm getting ready to read about, the basically Wartime Power Act that Biden is going to be able to um, enact. And that's going to give him all type of unanimous control. All right, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to read that, but let's finish this because they ain't going to have time to do anything you know, once those uh, arrows get uh, launched off. Because this is going to be the fate of, of Babylon. The best bet is uh, for you to not be on the soils of America when that day comes. The Lord ain't going to have it to where you're going to have one little missile launch and it's going to hit America. And then, you know, pretty much, you know, uh, it's going to be an emergency broadcast and, you know, people are going to survive and there's going to be certain places that's still up and running and everything is good. And nah, man, once the Lord uh, sends that 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 signal. Everything is going to move based on the, the will of the Lord, man. Everything's going to be on cue. All right. And this is going to be the end game. America being turned into an ashtray. It says it shall not be quenched night nor day. The smoke thereof shall go up forever. Just like it says in Revelation about Babylon's uh, smoke going up forever. From generation to generation, it shall lie waste. None shall pass through it forever and ever. Just like Sodom. And uh, Gomorrah in the neighboring cities. But the cor the, the, the cormorant and the bittern shall possess it. The owl also and the raven shall dwell in it. All the hateful uh, birds. And he shall stretch out upon it the line of confusion and the stones of emptiness. All right. It's going to be so utterly destroyed and wasted. You know, there ain't going to be you ain't going to be able to differentiate between the state of Texas and Oklahoma or uh uh, California, Nevada, you know, Mississippi and Alabama, that, that's that it's going to be obliterated. So there ain't going to be no uh border lines. Okay? And then uh, you jump down verse 14, the wild beast of the desert also shall meet with the wild beast of the island and the satire shall cry to his fellow, screech owl also shall rest there and find for 
herself a place of rest. You know, all the vultures. So basically, you already see what this is going into. The aftermath, you know, after this place is wiped out, is going to be left, you know, as a as a uh, a, a desolate waste, you know, with nothing but desert creatures there. So this is all in vain. But we know that they're going to try to implement this before such a thing can happen because this is all about utilizing and seizing more control. Because this devil, you know, he wants to, you know, lock everything down, secure it. He wants to clamp everything down. He wants to squeeze the world. All right. So. Continuing on, it says when the president may activate wartime powers for national security emergencies. Until now, public knowledge of what the government put into those classified directives, which invoke emergency and wartime powers granted by Congress or otherwise claimed by presidents, has been limited to declassified descriptions of those developed in the early Cold War. You know, because uh, I believe it was Nixon and back in 73, um, I think it was like later on into um, with the, the Vietnam War. Well, they had to basically, uh, the presidents from that moment on, they had to actually declare uh, when there's a war. And prior to that, you know, it, it, it was just, you know, wars taking place that America was a part of, but it wasn't officially declared like that, you know, as, as a major uh, world war. So now if, 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 they, if, if they go on all out nuclear, they got they have to declare, hey, this is uh, World War Three. Right. And, uh, you know, they're going to uh, the, the least in the flock is going to be basically drag them into this. All right. Because uh, the, the Israeli government play a, a, a key role in what's going on with Ukraine. And the link between, you know, them and uh, the beast. So, you know, just pay just keep paying attention to it. All right. And, uh, you know, Russia, you know, they're at the point where. You know, if if NATO keeps expanding, and uh, you know, Ukraine was you know almost the last straw, but now you, they talking about Sweden and Finland. So at that point, it's going to have to be a, a a war. So you know, Russia and China, you know, they're they're pretty much, you know, uh, back to back with it, you know, protecting that whole side of the world from you know Western domination. So it's just going to come to a head eventually. And the Lord, that's the Lord stirring things up. Uh, but, uh, wake up the mighty men, prepare a war, beat your plowshares and the swords and your pruning hooks, the, pruning hooks and the spears. Let the, let the weak now say that I am strong. All right. Hey, the second woe is passing. The third, third woe coming quickly. So continuing on, it says, in that era, they included steps like imposing martial law. All right. And this is the type of uh, control that the president will be able to have. They will be able to impose a martial law, rounding up people deemed dangerous. Now, who could that be? Who who could that uh, describe? You know, all the narrative that they're pushing with all this propaganda about people having uh, extremist beliefs, um, people that, that believe in their Second Amendment right to, to, to bear arms now, because now all of a sudden, you know, if you have... Uh, guns you know you're 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 dangerous um you know if you're against uh you know you speak against big pharma you speak against uh the great reset you know all the agendas that they're planning at the uh the wef you know you're you would be deemed dangerous if you're not speaking according to the who and the cdc and you, you you're spreading what they call misinformation you're considered uh dangerous all right, and if you're preaching the scriptures the, the correct and right way, you're deemed dangerous. So the narrative is already spread forth. That's all they needed. So this would enable the president to have this type of control where they can impose martial law, round the people up, and where would they be taking them to? Well, we know what the scriptures say. Let's go to uh, Revelation to verse 10. We know what the devil is going to eventually end up doing. 
It's never been a secret. All these uh, FEMA camps, all right, we're through, through these uh, 10 different FEMA regions all throughout Babylon. Come on, man. Uh, this is uh, Revelation 2, verse 10. And this is for, you know, those of us who may have to face this, right? Fear none of those things, Revelation 2 and 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison that you may be tried, and you shall have tribulation 10 days. Be thou faithful unto death, and, the, and I will give thee a crown of life. And, you know, the Lord already gave the comfort to his disciples when he said, you know, don't think about what you're going to say. Let's get that real quick, because we're going to be brought before kings and governors for his, uh, his namesake. Matthew 10, verse 18, it says, And you shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how what you shall speak, for it shall be given you in that same hour which you shall speak. For it is not that speak, it's like it is not ye that speak, but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you. All right? And, uh, you know, we know that the scriptures say they shall... Uh, it's going to be an insurrection uh, against those that fear the Lord. And this is in the same chapter, 2nd Ezra 16. 2nd Ezra 16 and verse uh, 68 says, For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. And that's, you know, when he move in like a flood with the troops. You know, and, and he can, that can very well happen if they implement this uh, this wartime power act. You know, because they feel threatened, you know, in, 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 you know, the possibility of a nuclear war taking place. You know, Russia got uh, submarine missiles that can uh, go undetected in the water and that can touch this place. You know, China got hypersonic. They they both got hypersonic. They All the uh, missiles are sophisticated, man, and smart. All right, they're, they actually are more uh, advanced than America. With their missile technology so yeah they feel threatened but you're going to impose this you know really this is this is towards a whole nother agenda all right so they're going to round people up that deem that's deemed dangerous and the scriptures is telling you that, that can very well happen through that all right but you you know we'll, time will tell and there's many other legislations in place, you know, it's all type of things that this devil then prescribed. That's why it says in Isaiah 10, you know, woe to him that decree righteous decrees, which they have um, grievously uh, prescribed. Because all these different um, draconian uh, legislations, it helps to uh, enact, you know, more power of tyranny. But they make sure that they have a justification to enact it. So they got to run PSYOP after PSYOP, bringing in their Hegelian dialectic order out of chaos, you know, method so that they can actually implement this, uh, these uh, legislations. All right. So eventually it's going to lead to them, you know, bringing in the troops and regulating everything, you know, bringing a, a totalitarian military police state. All right, and everybody uh, here is a potential uh, threat or a terrorist if you're not complying, you know, with the New World uh, agenda. All right, they, this devil wants you to either lay down, <laughs> all right, either get down and, and bow down to the beast or, you know, bow down to the sword. That's what, that's basically what he's going to do. This devil's going to be very cutthroat with it. You're either going to uh, worship the image and receive his, his mark. Or you're gonna be cut off. So it says, um, it says, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you, being idle with things offered unto idols. And we know big pharma is based on idolatry. You know they're uh, positions of, of of no value. All right, and um, you know the things coming from that industry. You know, which is a part of uh, the image of the beast. You know, they're going to try to really make it to where you you need to choose. 
you know, choose, uh, you know, our sorcery, you know, choose our way of, uh, you know, healing you, you know, uh, the monetary system, you have to, uh, choose that. Your method of buying and selling is, is, is not what it used to be. You're going to have to, uh, be digitally identified and we got to know everything about you. So you have to make that choice. That's, this is going to be the hour of temptation for, for, uh, certain brothers and even, uh, some sisters, man. But we got to, um, you know, be faithful and endure until the end. Strive for the truth unto death and the Lord will uh, fight for you, right? It says, and they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. Uh, they're going to see that you were weak and you didn't stand by, you know, what you claim to believe. And they're going to mock you for it. But there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. But they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Right? Rounding up people deemed dangerous. Right? That's what you call rounding people up. Take, snatch them out of their homes. Right? Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. All right? You're going to be tested. All right, and that's when we're going to know who's who. All right, it says, And here, O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. So we're going to be in the thick of it, man, Jacob's trouble. All right, but he's going to deliver his elect. You're going to have a few martyrs that's going to go under the guillotine, and they're going to come right back with the Lord. But you're going to have brothers and sisters that's going to have divine intervention, and they're going to be delivered out of that situation. All right, they're going to, you know, call upon the name of the Father in the name of His only begotten Son. And they're going to have, you know, um, fortitude and, and, and uh, mental strength. They're going to have uh, faith because that's going to be our stability, man. This, this knowledge and, and wisdom, this this uh, encouragement, these words of comfort to know that we're going to get through this. That the Lord is not going to, you know, His hand is not short that He cannot save. He will not confound His men if we, you know, call upon Him. And in and, and, and the Aquaf, it says, Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your guide. All right? And the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, save the Lord power, let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. All right? So, hey, you know, this is what's laid out. I only read just not even a, a paragraph yet. It's a lot in this uh, document. It says, in that era, they included steps like imposing martial law, rounding up people deemed dangerous, and censoring news from abroad, a media block. It has not been clear what is in the modern directives known as presidential emergency action documents because under administrations of both parties, none have been made public or shown to Congress. But the newly disclosed documents which relate to the George W. Bush administration's efforts to revise the draft orders after the attacks of September 11, 2001, offer clues. So we know that, you know, 9-11, that was pretty much um, a precursor. That, that pretty much uh, laid down the foundation for all this uh, legislation. Let's just put it like that. All these draconian, tyran uh, tyrannical uh, measures, you know, through these uh, different executive orders, September 11, you know, laid down the groundwork for it. All right. That's why, you know, they, they uh, enacted the um, the Patriot Act. All right. And then after that, you know, a series of other legislations, man. America changed after that. Okay. So here it is, you know, so that's the reason why they have to keep setting up these, um, false flags, these different uh, PSYOPs, man, because it enables them to further take control and, uh, you know, while they strip away um, your liberty, they're giving you a false sense of security, all right, and you people deserve it if you really think that your government cares cares for you that like that, all right, it says several of the files provided to the New York Times by the, the Brennan Center for Justice show that the Bush-era effort partly focused on a law that permits the president to take over 
or shut down communications networks in wartime. So he, they, they, he would even have the power to shut down all your communications, man. So all the phones, you know, everybody's always on a phone. You're always on uh, mainstream, me uh, it's like you're on social media. All right, you're always uh, texting. He would be able to shut all that down. You would not have access, you know, like if you if you work online, you won't be able to work. They would they would basically everything would get sieged. So you people will, will, will bug the hell out, man. It says that suggests the government may have developed or revised such an order in light of the explosive growth in the 90s of the cons consumer Internet. Underscoring how little lawmakers in the public can infer another file from the summer of 2008 mentioned that Justice Department lawyers were revising an unidentified draft order in light of a recent Supreme Court opinion. The memo does not specify the ruling, but the court had just issued landmark decisions on topics that could relate to government actions in an emergency. They always got to do everything in case of an emergency. That's when they can... Um, you know, become pretty much your your lords. It gives them uh, the justification. In a, in a, in an emergency, we get to become dictator. When you have no rights, no nothing, we take over everything. One about gun rights in the United States, and another about rights of Guantanamo Guantanamo detainees to court hearings. So you know that they got to bring up gun rights and that's what they're trying to work on right now the second amendment because they they have they, they have to make sure that they get rid of the people's ability to defend themselves basically because you know esau he believes in his sword he lives by it that's his line of defense so if you try to take that line of defense from him he's going to feel defenseless and when you feel defenseless you feel like you're vulnerable and you have no you have no power you have you know nothing you can rely upon and is in in the in esau's eyes so guess what that's gonna you know how much how much bodies got to drop <laughs> for them to to, to 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 really try to carry that out there's gonna be war out there man but this is what they're working on and this is why they're pushing this this you know non-stop with all these uh shootings uh happening which you know some could be real, but a lot of them we we definitely know can be staged or are staged. All right, allegedly, you know, because I don't want YouTube to, you know, try to get me for something. But hey, you know, but that's where we at right now. So, you know, this all revolves around, you know, giving dictatorship control to the president. All right, and we know the prophecy talks about how you will be given over to a cruel lord all right and 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 you know cruelty that's you know showing no pity man you're straight cutthroat all right and and, and uh, you know biden you know despite his uh his faculties failing him he's not stupid and he's we we know he's a puppet all right we know that the the, the globalists are using him just like they're using Trudeau and Bojo and all them all them clowns. All right, for what they really want, they want their new world order. Okay, they want to be the head, and everybody else is the tail. They want to be able to uh, um, ration and 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 lend to you, and basically you don't own nothing, and you'll be happy. All right, they want control of all the um, resources. You know they they want to um you know uh, uh you know trace your, your your carbon print you know basically just a full takeover man so this this is you know where they at with it man and the scriptures say that they frame mischief by law Psalms ninety four and verse twenty. And it says, shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frame of mischief by a law? And that's what they do. They gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous and condemn 
the innocent blood. But we know that the Heavenly Father, you know, he's going to um, defend his, his elect. That's why it says in Isaiah 54, no weapon formed against thee shall prosper. And he's going to avenge his elect. All right, he, he reproved kings for their sake, saying, touch not, not, not my anointed and do none of my prophets no harm. So we gonna see, man. We gonna see how it really uh, unfolds. But we know that the Lord is gonna, you know, cover us in His hands. All right, we're gonna call upon Him, and He's gonna He's gonna answer. Uh, Psalms thirty four and verse uh, seventeen, and it says, I will start at fifteen. It says, "The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and His ears are open to their unto their cry." The face of the Lord is against them that do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and saveth such as build a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth them out of them all. And he's going to deliver his, uh, the righteous, his elect. All right. But, you know, you wicked niggas. Are you scoffers, you scorners, you detractors, you naysayers, you false prophets? You know, all you do is we've been getting on for years and you refuse to hearken unto the reproof and the correction. The Lord ain't going to deliver you. You're going to be a part of this, man. You're going to be given over to calamity. All right. So, it, hey, it's definitely coming, man. The devil is coming down with great wrath because he knew of that he had but a short time. All right, they they finna turn this thing up, man. Okay. So, you know, just continue to, you know, watch the news. They're going to continue to talk about this Texas thing with the elementary school. It's probably going to be more. They said there was another uh, uh, scare, you know, at a, at a Texas school uh, nearby. So they're going to keep spinning this, man, because we know Esau wants something. We can't be uh, ignorant. We got to constantly, you know, watch this devil, man. Let's say he should get an advantage of us, but we're not ignorant of his devices, man. So we got to look on. All right. Because hey, the prudent, you know, foresee of the evil and hides himself. But the, 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 the simple pass on and are punished. So let's stay upon our watch and continue to pray and do, you know, do what's right, man. All right. And uh, you know, we almost yeah, we, we we almost out of here, man. So uh, you know, anyway, you know, I'm gonna end off with that. And Lord willing, I'm gonna leave a link to this in the description box. If brothers want to go into it, read further into it, and and you know, do their lessons on it. Brothers want to uh, you know, go into that. And Lord willing, this is edifying. I'm gonna give all praise, glory, honor to y'all, Bashem El Shai. Until the next lesson, Shalom.